Here we have solutions of strontium hydroxide, which we know is aqueous from the solubility rules, and sulfuric acid, which we know is aqueous. We know it's a strong acid. Okay, so um, this is uh, an acid and a base. We know it's a strong acid and a strong base. We know we get water. And we're going to get a salt, strontium sulfate. And so when we look at this, we need to balance it. That's going to give us two waters and one strontium sulfate. But if you look at the solubility rules, you'll notice that strontium sulfate is a solid. It's insoluble. Okay, um, let's write the total ionic equation. This we know because it's aqueous, it's going to be a strong base. And two hydroxides. We know we have a strong acid here. All right, and that gives us uh, that's everything's ions on the left side because we have a strong acid and a strong base. Water does not come apart because it's a molecule. And then the strontium sulfate also stays as strontium sulfate because it's a precipitate. It's written as one unit like that. So for the net ionic equation, Nothing is going to get crossed off. Everything undergoes change. We've got water from the, hyd uh, the acid in the base, and we've got a precipitate from the strontium and the sulfate that reacted. So the net ionic equation is going to be the same as the total. So we don't need to even write it. But what about the conductivity? Will there be any conductivity? Well, if we react these exactly in a one, um, the one-to-one -one ratio, as we see in the balanced equation, then everything will either be water or precipitate. So there will be uh, no conductivity. And the reason for that is we have no ions left. There's no ions on product side of the equation, so there's no conductivity.